What to do when you get stuck in your narrative, the storyline. At some point, we start to disidentify from thoughts, from the narratives in the mind. And it feels good because we realize we aren't the thoughts moving through our mind. We aren't the beliefs we have about ourselves and how the world is and how we are. Those are thoughts. And as we disidentify from those, there's a degree of freedom that we start to realize. That freedom is the freedom from binding, binding of the mind, binding of the storyline, binding of identity, who we feel like we have to be, what we have to live up to, what we have to defend. To be free of that is remarkable. It feels good. But inevitably, we come up against contracted experiences, repressed emotion, sticky thought forms. So we go to work, the work of inquiry, the work of continuing to investigate directly in our own experience, our own perceptions, our own beliefs. And this work is important, but it can also be frustrating. It can be disorienting at times. Sometimes it just feels like a trudge. And then because the ego is so sneaky and flexible, it identifies with that. It identifies with the work of disidentifying, with the work of inquiry into beliefs and so forth. So we come into a new respect for the flexibility and opportunistic nature of the ego because it really can co-opt just about anything, as long as it's structured in thought, as long as it's structured in perception and belief. So when this occurs, when we start to feel that stickiness even around inquiry or being the inquirer, being the one on the spiritual path, being the one that's always looking, digging, working, and we feel that binding, we feel that that's something we're also identifying with, then what are our options? What can we do? Well, I'll give two simple suggestions. One is take a break. If you're doing ongoing inquiry or you've been in a retreat setting doing sustained meditation, these are very good practices. They're valuable, they're worthwhile, but you need a break from them. Don't do them all the time. Take time off. Take a few days completely off. Take a week off, a week off of contemplating anything spiritual, anything about awakening, any kind of inquiry, even watching videos, reading. Just take the time off. Let the reset happen. Let the natural integration happen. So that's one suggestion. Another one is perhaps more subtle, but it's very powerful. And that is orient your attention to that which is not a narrative that which is not a belief, that which is not a storyline at all. It's right here. It's the unbinding, the unbinding from a story, the unbinding from a narrative, the unbinding from any fixation. It's not an activity, it's already here. It's always the case. It's the unborn. It's that which has no foundation. This has no foundation. So put your attention there. That's it. This one second is eternity, and this eternity is all times and places. There's nothing more. There's nothing to think about. There's nothing to unbind from because the unbinding is ongoing. The unbound, the unborn, that which did not come into being and will not die. Put your attention there. Just notice, acknowledge, open, that's it. It's in every experience, it's in every moment, no matter what time of the day or night you notice, clinging to thoughts, views, reference frames, it's already there. The unbound, the unbinding, just attune to that, that's it. Nothing to do with it, nothing to do to it. No one receiving it, 
It's not a doing. It's not an accomplishment. It's nothing you can think about specifically. But it excludes nothing, so it excludes no thought. It excludes no sensation, color, form, shape, movement, sound. It's staring you in the face all the time. It's always the case. There's something here that doesn't come and go. That's where you put your attention. Everything is based on that, whether you realize it or not. It has no specific meaning. It has no specific purpose. It's prior to purpose and prior to meaning. That's the key. The unborn. There's a Zen master who used to say frequently, everything is perfectly managed in the unborn. His name was Bonky. So notice that. It's that easy. Don't even have to inquire. Notice the mind can grasp all at once. It can't touch this. No matter what the mind is saying, no matter what the thoughts are doing, no matter what's going on externally or internally, this is here. The unbinding. The foundationless. That's your ticket. <laughs>